And Shalom, Mr. Brother Azariah from the Pittsburgh GMS camp. I want to first and foremost give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love to you, brothers out there preaching the truth and sincerity. All right, and uh, this is a video article I came across. It says, Shark drags woman into crocodile infested waters in Australia. And, um,. A once in a lifetime trip in May for a woman in Australia quickly turned into a harrowing experience when she suffered a bite while feeding a shark. First of all, why are you feeding a shark? By hand. Which then dragged her into the water. The Edomites, y'all be tripping, man. Y'all think y'all really think y'all. Yeah, and you know what? The earth is giving into y'all hands. But y'all really think that the world is on y'all side and that nature is y'all friend. <clears throat> Hell, y'all love nature and are more in tune with nature than y'all brother Jacob. You know, matter of fact, find that scripture. I'm going to know exactly where this is by, by the time I get through bringing it out so many times. Let's see. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, Psalms 50 and 20. I believe this is it. Yeah. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. Y'all love animals more than you love Jacob. Your own mother's son. Your own brethren from your same father, you know. Now, through the Spirit, the Most High set it up that way. He set up Esau and Jacob to be two manners of people. And, of course, they don't really get along, you know. But it's no fault of Jacob that they're going to get along. It's Esau's fault. He's the one holding on to grudges, you know. And, of course, they just like Pharaoh, the Most High put it on Esau's heart to be that way, man. But that don't excuse the perpetual hatred that they have for us, you know what I'm saying? Y'all sit here and y'all love and trust and... You know, get all close up next to animals more than y'all do to Jake. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's just wild, you know. A scripture did pop in my mind. I guess I'll go ahead and get it. Uh, Amos 1 and 11. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom, you so-called white people, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. And that's you Edomites, man, you so-called white people. You know, you treat us like shit, let's go nigger hunting, you know, treat our, treat our young, uh, our young, our young, like they're animals and commodities and accessories and just disrespect us on on every level but when it comes to animals you know oh you know i want to save all the little cats and the little rats and this you know y'all got PETA. you know <laughs> you know y'all see an animal getting treated uh look at harambe you know Y'all had all these memes and all these different things that y'all were doing for Harambe, you know. But let let little uh, Jakes get killed. Let little Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, let, let, let one of us die. Well, you guys kill each other anyway, so, you know, heartless, cold. But hey, like I said, through the spirit, that's how it's set up. Anyway, Melissa Bruning was on a yacht. And when she tried to hand feed up to four tawny nurse sharks swimming around her boat. What's a tawny nurse shark? Let's see what it is. Okay, yeah. Hey, a shark is a shark, but it don't look too, you know, threatening, I guess. So she decides she gonna hand feed the shark. You know, but what happened? <clears throat> uh, she told the West Australian 
that she didn't realize she shouldn't hand feed a shark. Oh no shit. It's a lot of until the animal became a hoover like a vacuum. Sucking her right index finger into its mouth full of rows of razor sharp teeth. I think the shark was in shock as much as I was. Yeah, uh huh, sure, sure it was. The only way I can describe it is this immense pressure and it felt like it was shredding it off the bone, she told the paper. I came up and I was like, I've lost my finger. My finger is gone. The shark also pulled her into the water of Dugong Bay, which is inhabited by saltwater crocodiles that can grow up to 23 feet long and weigh more than a ton. You know, and she's lucky that she didn't get eaten. She's lucky that she didn't get eaten, but you know, hey, you, you eat them, it's, you know, y'all gotta pay, man. And the animals are starting to uh, to come against you guys. Let's see. So this is the jaw of a tawny shark here. They're car carpet sharks. And these are the, the tiny rows of teeth that they have in their mouth. They're not like your regular shark. They, they kind of look like uh, those... Uh, it kind of looks like a catfish, actually. It looks related to those, let's see, those glass cleaner sharks. Or, I think, I don't know if they're sharks, but. They kind of look like these guys. A little bit. And there are different species of these. There are these, and then there are the ones that look, kind of look like catfish. But the most I created these fishes to clean the water. You know, a lot of them. And the and the sucking the suction action that they describe reminds me of those type of fish. But anyway. Yeah, man, you Edomites. <clears throat> Y'all gonna pay, man. You know? You willing to take all these risks to try to hand feed a shark. You know? But y'all ain't lifting a finger to really help Jake. You know? But hey, man, Most High is gonna recompense his people against you Edomites, man. <laughs> look, look at this shit, man. Look at that. That's the spirit. I came back to it and look what he's saying right here. It's not the shark's fault at all. But it could have been a lot worse, she told the paper. I'm not a shark victim. I have full respect for sharks. I think they're incredible. I've always had the opinion that when you're in the water, they're the top of the food chain. It's their domain. So you hop in front of a shark or whatever. You're feeding them. You have the common decency enough to understand, okay, I pushed this shark to the edge. I touched the waters. This is the result of that. But you put us in these experiments and call them projects. You pump us full of drugs and hormones and chemicals and diseases, Ill diseases, illnesses. You, the economy is low in our, in our, uh, our areas are poverty stricken, you know, um, drugs are dropped off in the hood. Guns are dropped off in the neighborhood. You know, um, uh, uh, neighbors neighbors are put against each are pitted against each other through gangs and gang warfare and gang ideology that's perpetrated and spread through the music. You know, all these different things. But when a Jake kills a kills a Jake, uh, another Jake or commits a crime, you know. You don't say, oh, well, look at the situation we put them in, you know. They're great people, but, you know, we have to understand that if you put somebody in those type of conditions, that they're likely to snap. You know, no, we don't get that decency, but a shark gets gets the respect that it deserves, you know. A bottom-feeding shark gets the respect that it deserves as an animal because you were in his dom domain and you manipulated his natural ecosystem but jake is 
giving the shit end of the stick and we don't get the same respect. Pure hypocrisy. But yeah, that's just, you know, that's all I had on that, you know. All honor, glory, and praises go to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash. Double honesty, the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Much love to you, brothers out there preaching the truth and sincerity. And with that, I say Shalom.